Hi, welcome to another session of reading with me, Miss Nikki. So, what story do I have for you today? Drum roll, please. <gasps> Who's this? Hmm. She's a very good storyteller. And her name is Bella. And that's the name of the story. Bella, the storyteller. It's written by Adam and Charlotte Jelaine and illustrated by Richard Watson. Bella loved to tell stories to her friends. She loved stories so much. She even told them to herself. Bella told stories at lunchtime. She told stories at school, even in maths. She's supposed to be telling stories in maths. I thought not. Bella told stories to her brother when he was trying to watch the TV. She even told stories to her dad when she should have been cleaning her teeth. Nothing could stop Bella telling stories. Quiet, please. But one day, Bella woke up and found that she had lost her voice. She tried to whisper. She tried to shout. Bella tried to sing but no words came out. Poor Bella. She couldn't tell stories at breakfast, but she did listen to her family as they happily chatted away. She even had time to finish all her homework before school. Bella couldn't tell stories on her way to school that day. So she listened to her friend Becky telling jokes instead. Becky's jokes are hilarious, thought Bella. When I get my voice back, I must ask her to tell me a few more. Bella couldn't tell stories at school, but she got a gold star for finishing all her maths work in double quick time. She'll probably get another gold star for great listening taught her teacher. After school, Bella still couldn't tell stories, so she watched TV with her brother. This monster cartoon is really great, she thought. At bedtime, Bella brushed her teeth, put on her pyjamas and got into bed, ready for her dad to read to her. They even had time to read two extra stories. The next morning, Bella woke up feeling fine. Hooray, she cried. I can start telling stories again. Bella bounded down the stairs, talking all the way. Oh my goodness, I have so much to say, she told mum. Becky is so funny. I got a gold star for my maths. I saw a great cartoon and... Bella stopped. She remembered why she had all of these great stories and decided to eat her breakfast. Her family talked and talked and talked while Bella happily listened. Bella still loves to tell stories. But now she likes to listen to them too. I love to talk. I talk, 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 talk. However, it is very important to listen. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed listening to that story. Until next time, bye bye. I hope you're enjoying reading with Miss Nikki. <laughs> if you really are, Show some support to the authors and illustrators by buying the books.